somebody culpable. If you, if you can't avoid doing some kind of wrong to somebody, better to pick the kind of wrong that's done to somebody that deserves it. <laughs> now, we can presume that your friend is a good friend, a helpful person, a good member of your community, and normally deserves your cooperation. Whereas, oh, the reason we can presume this is not that this is the only possibility, but the other, the other case is an easy one. If it's a nasty, unhelpful person, you say, why should I help you? Okay, so that case is easy. But the case of a, of a good friend, a helpful person, that's the case that creates a dilemma. Whereas, the developer of the proprietary program has deliberately attacked the social solidarity of your community. So, much better you should do the wrong that's aimed at it. However, to be the lesser evil does not mean it's good. It's never a good thing to make an agreement and then break it. When an agreement is inherently evil, as this one is, breaking it is not as bad as keeping it, but still breaking it is not good. And if you do give your friend a copy, what will he have? He will have an unauthorized copy of a proprietary program. And that's a pretty bad thing, almost as bad as an authorized copy. <laughs> So what you should really do, once you have fully understood this dilemma, is to make sure it never happens to you. That way, you'll never have to do any evil. So there are two ways to avoid this dilemma. One is, don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's the method suggested by proprietary software developers. The other method is, don't use proprietary software. And that's my method. If someone offers me a program, no matter how attractive, on the condition that I promise not to share it with you, I will reject it. I will say, it would be wrong for me to accept that, and therefore I do not. It would be betrayal of my community to accept such a condition. The most essential resource of any society is not a physical resource. It's a psychosocial resource. It's the spirit of goodwill, the spirit of helping your neighbor. The level of this resource makes the difference between a livable society and a doggy dog jungle. So it's no accident that humanity's <coughs> leaders for thousands of years have explicitly tried to encourage the spirit of goodwill and benevolence. So what does it mean when powerful social institutions say that it's wrong to share with your neighbor? What are they doing? They are poisoning this vital resource, something that no society can afford. There is no society that has too much spirit of goodwill. And what does it mean when they say that if you share with your neighbor, you're a pirate? And they call it theft. What are they doing? What are they really saying? They're trying to equate helping your neighbor with a 